The Xiphos -E Greek, Xiphos is a double-edged, one-handed Iron Age straight shortsword used by the ancient Greeks. It was a secondary battlefield weapon for the Greek armies after the dory or javelin. The classic blade was generally about 45 to 60 cm (18 to 24 in) long, although the Spartans supposedly started to use blades as short as 30 cm (12 in) around the era of the Greco-Persian Wars. The Xiphos sometimes has a midrib and is diamond or lenticular in cross section. It was generally hung from a baldric under the left arm. The Xiphos was generally used only when the spear was broken, taken by the enemy, or discarded for close combat. Very few Xiphoi seem to have survived. Stone's glossary has Xiphos being a name used by Homer for a sword. The entry in the book says that the sword had a double-edged blade widest at about two-thirds of its length from the point, and ending in a very long point. The name Xiphos apparently means something in the way of penetrating light. According to researcher and swordsmith Peter Johnson, the Zippo's leaf-shaped design lent itself to both cutting and thrusting. The design has most likely been in existence since the appearance of the first swords. Blades in bronze and iron are suitable for a leaf shape due to the softness of the metals in comparison to steel. Bronze swords are cast and are thus more easily formed into a leaf shape than iron swords, which need to be forged. The early Xiphos was a bronze sword, and in the classical period, would have been made of iron. The early Celtic Laten short sword, contemporary with the Xiphos, had a virtually identical blade design as the Xiphos. The leaf shaped short swords were not limited to Greece, as mentioned, but can be found throughout Europe in the Late Bronze Age under various names. Bronze leaf shaped swords from as early as the late 2nd millennium still survive. The Urnfield culture is associated with the use of the leaf-shaped bronze short sword. It is generally thought that iron swords had replaced bronze swords by the early Latin culture about 500 BC. During the Hallstatt culture a mixture of bronze and iron swords seem to have existed side by side. Iron tends to become severely oxidized rusted over the years, and few iron swords have survived, in contrast to bronze swords that age very well. Thus, much is known regarding the sword during the Bronze Age but less so in the early Iron Age. Bronze thrusting swords from the second millennium still exist in excellent condition. The word is attested in Mycenaean Greek Linear B form as chi -cpe". A relation to Arabic siphon and Egyptian sephit has been suggested, although this does not explain the presence of a labiovela in Mycenaean. One suggestion connects Ossetic access IRF. Sickle, which would point to a virtual Indo European asterisk Kushivro. See also Gladius, Iron Age Sword, Kopis, Makaira Notes and references Notes References <laughs>